reports of strange noises, unseen footsteps and objects moving by themselves. Spiral have been called in to investigate spirit in suburbia. With the regular team away, new members Patricia and Duncan, along with our new psychic Alan, join Mark on the investigation. My name's Sally, I've um, been living here since 2005. Um, I met Alan last week and I asked him to come in because there's a lot of activity going on in the house, a lot of noises, um, a lot of happenings. We get things taken, moved, um, we hear noises, um, walking footsteps across the ceiling and um, the main reason is because there's a large dog that starts walking and hearing walking from the middle of the stairs up the stairs and into my bedroom um, at night time. I just basically want to know who they are, names of people, um, why they're here. I don't feel any animosity or anything, it's all nice and calm. My daughter, my eldest daughter, 13 year old, used to have to wear a brace with blocks on um, to bring her jaw forward and she had to take it out every time she ate. <clears throat> and we're sitting at the table, she's taken it out and put it on the table, um, ate her dinner and when she went to put them back in, in her mouth they weren't there. So we searched the house for them um, and in the end I said, right, that's enough, can we have them back please, she needs them for medical reasons. And we eventually found them in her coat pocket which was upstairs on the back of a chair zipped up in the pocket. Mm. And yet I'd seen her take them out, put them on the table and no one had left the table at all. Um, I feel fine. Um, just be keen to see what happens and transpires during the night. Yeah, I think it's good. I, I'm getting a good vibe here, actually. I think it's going to be really interesting. Alan's come up with some great stuff already. Mm. And I think once we do the walk around in a second, I think that's where it's going to start kicking in. With property owner Sally joining us, we begin the investigation in the living room, with Alan using psychometry to tap into any potential spirit energy. Visualise this older man now much more, much clearer. Without being rude, he's uh, a little bit as if he hasn't looked after himself quite. A bit dishevelled. A bit dishevelled, and it's like um, he's let himself go. Wearing an old jumper. It's like he doesn't change that often. He's, he's completely let himself go. It's, he's lost his wife. Mm. And he's let everything go. Have you got any sort of time period when this is? Or sort of an identification from the sort of clothes he's wearing? Let's see what we get as we go. I'm tingling, do you know that? Are you really? Yeah. You okay. feel it right through. You know, when someone loses interest, they, they don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. When he lost his wife, yeah. that's the, the, the yeah, turning that, point that for him. That is it, that is it. That's what he's saying. Yeah. During the vigil, Patricia managed to catch two orbs above the curtains. I just said, be patient. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> As we move to the first floor, Alan is drawn to the stairs. Very strong, yeah. She did have an accident. Do you think that might have resulted in her passing? I think it, yeah. I oh. think it probably led to it. It, it sort of was at the beginning of the end, you know? I feel they were both quite old anyway. Right, which probably also say ties him, ties him to the um, to the to the house. Yeah. 
Yeah, without a doubt. Oh, that's really sad. Um, they are quite steep stairs, actually, aren't they? Yeah, no. Just as I came up the stairs then, it just so strong. It was just like a picture of mm -hmm. her falling oh. back down the stairs from probably from just about that point there where they start to just where they first start to turn about there that's where it hit so probably just about there that she unbalanced and, mm -hmm. and fell backwards down the stairs and that's you have a lovely home does it still look the same to you or has it changed can you just please respond to us we won't do anything that you don't want us to do. If you need help, we will try and help. But if you're just happy to be here, then just let Sally know who you are. We'll introduce you to her. Did your wife used to do a lot of baking? Bake a lot of cakes and pastries? Because we quite often smell lovely cakes. Um, and became not used to people around him and didn't like people interfering. That's where that cantankerous bit comes in. Yeah. People trying to help him or he just... Does he mind us being here? Did you ask him that earlier? I'm sorry. I tried that, but uh, yeah. not, still not getting any reply. <coughs> And like I say, the two <coughs> things I could get with George William, whether that's George Williams, mm. or George William being his two names, I don't know, but... Someone just touched my face. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like it. I'm quite used to that. If that was you, can you touch someone else, please? I'm used to it, my guide's around me, but can you just touch someone, their head, their face, let them know you're close? Please? I always find it nice when they touch you when they're coming close. After a break, the team resumed the investigation on the stairway. something happened on these stairs. What was that? What was that? Did you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that was oh, up here. That was a cat, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's a cat. Hello, <laughs> 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 Right. He's grounded, but she comes in. Oh, he's grounded. All right. Yeah. Okay. That make, that'll make sense, doesn't it? Mm. He's grounded. <coughs> he's here. He's brown. She. In visitation, she comes and goes. Perhaps that's why they're looking for yeah. each other. Maybe, yeah, maybe she's coming in trying looking for him. Mm. But they can't seem to connect. No, there's some reason. I don't know why or what it is, but they, they can't. It's, Which is even sadder, isn't it? Mm, absolutely. To them, no time's passed. Yeah, that should be eternal, now, really, shouldn't it? Now. It's, it's never stopped. I've got to admit, I'm absolutely different for a second. I'm absolutely freaked out what's happening. That's what gentleman looks to you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him coming. He just came. Now that's spooky. <laughs> Hello. Thanks. <laughs> You just thought, you thought... Bag now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big apparition. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to be here earlier, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Hey, right. You thought you were hit it then, didn't you? I've got, I just like, what? You know, there's all those sort of double takes. What's that? You smell? Tips at the top of the stairs. Just see if we can make a the contact. This is where the accident happened with the old lady of the house. We feel that the gentleman is grounded and the old lady comes in visitation. I imagine trying to connect but for some reason they're just missing each other. It's really sad. Oh, yeah. 
patience is not my strongest mm. point. It's so alright, I waited 15 years for Doctor Who to come back. <laughs> it paid off. <laughs> it does, isn't it? <laughs> No, there's just been a real that temperature change. Real yeah. massive sudden temperature change mm -hmm. right from the. Well, you weren't there. Oh, yeah, when you got that, though, you were in there, weren't you? Mm. So I didn't feel any. Well, to be quite honest. My legs are not freezing like here, and it's coming from mm -hmm. there. Since you closed the doors, it was fine when you closed the doors, but mm. since I've just been here and sat down. I said when I sat here, it was freezing. Absolutely freezing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Straight down, actually, yeah. when I can feel it sort of like a cool. Breathe straight down on top of me. Yeah, there's no doubt there's a change here. Well, the fireplace has been done, was taking photographs of each stage that had been completed. Um, and on one of the photographs, there was a red and blue orb I showed up actually sign. in the yeah, fire in it itself. I oh, wow. um, also, we had some sitting there talking sign. about it. Hmm? And, um, I was saying you how nice well. it is, although it oh, sort of brought the room in a bit because it's darker it like, mm -hmm. than it was. Um, oh, I said how nice it is, and my eldest and daughter said, um, can't yeah, we paint it back yeah. to white again, yeah. Mummy? And a voice from up in the corner behind me said, no. And we all heard it, everybody in the house heard it. Really? Mm. With Duncan downstairs monitoring sound, Alan, Mark and Sally moved to the second bedroom with Patricia in the adjoining master bedroom. Show yourself as an orb. Show yourself. Show yourself as a complete person that you were. You can do that if you want. I'll make the dog bark again. You make the dog bark again? <laughs> wow. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was any of them still up here. Patricia, are you still up here? Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, right, it was you then. Oh, right, you were sitting Did down. Did you hear anything? Did you hear any tapping? Yeah. Where from? Oh. But the dog's in here as well. Okay. With us joining Duncan downstairs in the spare room, we were intrigued to discover that an EVP had been recorded of what clearly sounds like a door opening and the shuffling of feet. With no doors shut at the time and the crew sitting quietly in the upstairs bedrooms, we cannot explain this audible phenomenon. Intrigued by this, we attempted a communication circle. A candle was placed on the floor with Alan, Patricia, Mark and Sally participating, whilst Duncan continued to monitor sound. Right, George, if you're there and you're listening, you've got all our combined energies now into one. Can you please use our energies to make anything happen? Touch one of us, make a sound, answer us, yes or no. One knock for yes, two knocks for no. Do anything you like, touch one of us on the head, the shoulder, but you've got enough energy in now combined. You've got all our combined energies. Please use them. Contact us in any way you like. George, if you're around us, can you please use all our combined energies together and let us know that you're here. Tap on the floor, on the window, on the table. Make the candle flicker. Come oh, George, please. Just answer us. Just knock, tap. One or two taps, whichever. One for yes, two for no. Please talk to us. Do you mind Sally and the kids being here? Please answer us. <laughs> That's an answer. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Can you blow the candle out, George? Or we'll make the, the candle brighter?
Lovely. Jules, just make it flicker. Yeah, but this can do that naturally. Mm -hmm. Can you make the flame die right down? Please take it right down. Have you the energy to knock on the floor, tap on the floor? Something's happening with the candle, isn't it? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Can you bring that back up? Brightly now, please. It smells something like fuel or something chemical -y. Really strong. Mm. Not the case. Not the case. <laughs> no. That's why I sat there quite a bit. Mm. I thought that for a little while. Mm. So, yeah. But not. Just the pleasant aroma of your house. <laughs> <laughs> As the investigation drew to a close, the team pondered on the evening's events. Were former residents making their presence known more audibly than visually? You decide. <laughs>